Hey there guys, this is Leo with DualSim.us and I want to make this quick video on how to replace or install SIM cards in the Blue R1 HD. So it doesn't matter if you have a Prime Edition or a regular phone, I have a Prime Edition. This cost me $59 on Amazon and I have Prime. But uh, So first I was really confused how to insert my SIM cards because the, the SIM cards are recessed inside the plastic. And I was like, do I have to stick them in? I'll, I'll damage the SIM card. But then I figured out, it's very simple. So you have this metal clip. What you do is push it up, open it, and then you can install your SIM card in it. Right there. And then you push it down once you do that. And it locks in place. So also, I have a nano SIM here. So it's a little more complicated to install if you don't have an adapter. But it's still very much doable. Again, you open it. Now, as you can see, there are eight pins on the SIM card slot and only six connectors on the SIM itself. So, what you do is you ignore these two right pins and place your nano SIM to make con contact with the six leftmost SIM, uh, leftmost connectors. Just like so. Adjust it a little bit. And you're good to go. All right. And uh, also, since this is a dual SIM phone, let's go ahead and check how the dual SIM function works. So what you do to switch data. Now, as you can see, it says here, not hot plug, but for some reason, it is hot plug because I took the SIM cards out, I put them back in, and my data connection is live. It's working, so... You see LTE signal over there on SIM 2. And you can switch data connection from SIM 1 to SIM 2 without actually physically swapping the SIMs. You can do it in settings. So what you do is go to settings, SIM cards, cellular data, and you switch from SIM 1 to SIM 2 and backwards. So we're now on SIM 2. Let's go to 1. And here's a weird part, I don't know if it's a glitch or it's designed this way, so when it reconnects, the data connection is not going to work right away. So just wait a sec. Alright, you can see both SIM cards are connected, but there's no data. So what you have to do is manually enable the data. So you go to data usage, SIM card 1 and enable it here, that's when your LT or 4G goes on and now you have data connection. All right, so guys, this was Leo with dualsim.us. This is my quick review or overview of how to install SIM cards and the dual SIM function on this R1 HD phone from Blue and this is a Prime Edition. Again, this is a, the Amazon sponsors this. They give you a $50 discount when you get a Amazon Prime sponsored version, but with it you get Amazon ads. Fortunately, you can now root this phone and disable or delete all the Amazon stuff. But if you want to root, don't install any over the air updates because that may block your rooting function. But uh, so there is a $50 version and a $60 version. So $10 difference gives you additional gig of RAM and additional 8, 8 gigabytes of storage. So this is a 2 gig RAM and 16 gigs of storage. And I highly recommend you get a more expensive version if you do plan to use this phone. Because storage and RAM, there is never enough of it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. This was Leo once again with DualSIM. Please click the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel. I will release a full review of this phone soon as well as gaming review. And you can watch my unboxing video of this phone soon. Alright, thanks for watching. See ya.